So the Connect Port LTS is Digi's latest terminal server. Digi is the worldwide leader in terminal servers. We've shipped over 20 million serial ports and this is uh, the next generation uh, terminal server line. It can be used as uh, a typical serial to ethernet um, box or it can be used as, uh, as a wireless gateway. It comes in um, in three different sizes. You can get it in uh, eight port, which is a, a smaller box that uh, you can put anywhere. It also comes in uh, 16 ports and 32 ports, which are larger rack mount sizes. It comes with a, a Python development environment. And so lots of people want to do some uh, computing out near the edge, out where the devices are, rather than have to have a PC uh, out near the edge. They don't have to have a PC. They have enough horsepower and enough memory in order to uh, do computing. Well, one, one of the features uh, is an LCD display panel that we have on, on the LTS. And there was a customer in Europe that wanted to uh, be able to deploy a lot of terminal servers in remote locations. So they wanted to put hundreds of terminal servers out um, at remote locations and they didn't want to have technical people do this work. So they wanted to have some guy come in and put the box in its place, plug it into power and type in on the LCD panel the IP address and then plug it into an ethernet. And then once it's got an IP address and it's on the network, the person at headquarters could then um, get into the device through Telnet or SSH and then configure the unit completely themselves. So the purpose of the LCD screen is threefold. One that I mentioned, you can, you can configure it, ba do basic configuration. You can put an IP address in, into the box itself so you can get it on the network. Um, a second purpose is you can do monitoring. So you can actually see data uh, going across the LCD screen. So if you want to be in front of the device and see what's happening on the device, you can see things without having to do traces and send them someplace. You can actually see it right on the device. The third thing was uh, something that our tech support department wanted and that was diagnostics. So if a person is having um, some issue, a customer is having an issue with the device and they call into tech support, tech support can ask them to uh, go to the LCD and punch in and bring up some statistics, some diagnostics. They can look at that and explain it to them over the phone what they're seeing and they can quite easily solve problems. So this fits really well in the medical um, arena, in the medical vertical. It fits in a point of sale. Um, it can also be used uh, in security applications, building automation applications, uh, industrial um, applications. Also, um, energy. Uh, in a medical lab, you can have a number of devices you're going to want to get uh, data from. And so a lot of these devices would just be sitting on tables in the lab, and so you can plug those devices into this box. But other devices in the lab will be on carts, and they'll be wheeled around from patient to patient in the lab, and so they're, they're always on the move. And so for those devices, um, if they have Zigbee connectivity, you can talk to them wirelessly. So it's a great wired and wireless uh, solution for, for medical labs.